Start with John Corrales. Brad, do you hear me? Yeah. Great. Um, I was wondering uh, what would, I, I know we're going to see probably a fair amount of Robert Williams tonight. What would consider, what would you consider a successful night for him? Uh, I'm more focused on us, John. I think that, you know, Robert, the, the, the great things that all of our individuals do, we just want them to soar with those things. So for Robert, that is getting to the rim quickly, whether that's running, rolling, rebounding, um, you know, um, making himself available to, to play off handoffs and to use his passing skills and then doing the best that he can to make catches tough. Um, for Embiid and Howard and whoever else is down there. Hey, Brad. Hey, Abby. Uh, new season. Do you feel like revealing your starting lineup before the game? Yeah, we'll do it in the preseason. We're going to – we'll start um, Smart, Jalen, Jason, Javante Green, and Robert Williams. Why Javante? We're just going to rotate that spot. And then any other injuries? We talked to Daniel today. He said he's a no-go. But everybody else that we know of, good. Um, I think everybody else, yeah. So the people that were on the report are all out. Other than that, everybody's good to go. Mark D'Amico. Hey, Coach, uh, you, you only have a couple of these preseason games this year, and obviously this is all condensed. What are you just hoping to accomplish um, in these two in-game opportunities that you get before the regular season begins? Yeah, I think it's a combination of um, getting a feel for each other, conditioning, um, you know, doing our best to do our jobs well, and then having great film to learn from the next day. So everybody on our team that is available, I think there's 13 guys available. They'll all play 10 plus minutes tonight. So we'll have great film for everybody. Tim Bontemps. Hey Brad, just out of curiosity, when you say you're gonna rotate that Javante spot, is that gonna be back and forth between playing a bigger guy there and a smaller guy there? Or do you like that look of Marcus Jalen and Jason at the one, two and three without Kemba? I think a lot of people might say Javante, since he's smaller than Jalen and Jason, might be a two. But you know, that's obviously that stuff doesn't really matter. They they're all perimeter players that you know can do multiple things. And, you know, we're just looking at it to see who makes those guys better, and then we'll also look at it based on who we're playing on that given night. Obviously, when Kimba gets back, that changes everything. Final question for Coach Chris Ryan. Hey, Brad, hope all is well with you. Um, Robert was talking about how he was adding some moves around the basket and uh, working on his finishing there. How do you determine what a player is going to put in in the offseason in terms of his offensive game? You've stretched out Tice, obviously, in the past. What, how do you determine what you want a guy to do and, and work on to be uh, different and more effective? I think there's two things that guys are always doing in their individual work. Number one is they're, they're honing in on the things that allow them to impact winning right now and hopefully perfecting those things. And number two is you add things to your game that you may not be using now, but you may be sometimes years of work, sometimes a few months of work, sometimes an off season of work that then you can add and do so effectively until you can do it effectively. It's not, you know, it's nothing more than just work for the future, but hopefully um, our guys can, uh, I think you can still hear me. Hopefully our guys can, you know, do their best um, within their roles and add to their game. You know, when I was coaching in college, we used to call that extra time that guys would have to work to add like a dream time of a workout, whether it's adding a three pointer, a jump hook, a mid-range game, a, a floater game, whatever the case may be. If it wasn't part of your arsenal, work on that, but don't lose sight of the things you do best. All right, we'll wrap it up right there. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.